When you're ready to install Alico's motorized retractable patio awning, the kit will include three sections of the awning frame, awning and valance fabric, fabric splines, roller connectors, torsion bar connectors, all of the required hardware, assembly and insulation instructions. During the installation process, do not cut awning arms free until the awning is completely installed. Lay out all the sections of the awning with the roller and torsion bar connectors. Insert a torsion bar connector into a torsion bar lining up two of the four pre-drilled holes and secure with the provided hardware. Connect the adjacent torsion bar on the same connector and repeat these steps until all three sections are connected to one another. Insert a roller connector into one section of the rollers lining up two of the four pre-drilled holes and secure with provided screws. Connect the adjacent roller on the same connector and repeat these steps until all three sections are connected to one another. Insert the front bar connector into a section of the front bar lining up two of the four pre-drilled holes and secure with provided screws. Connect the adjacent front bar on the same connector and repeat these steps until all three sections are connected to one another. Feed the thinnest spline through one end of the awning fabric. This side of the fabric will be connected to the roller. Then feed the thicker spline through the other end of the awning fabric. This side will be connected to the front bar the awning. Feed the last of the thick spline into the valance fabric. Slide the fabric with a thin spline into the roller groove with the overlapping seam facing towards the roller. Roll the fabric on the roller so the overlapping seam of the fabric is faced towards the roller. Feed the valance fabric and spline into the front bar groove. Then slide the awning fabric and thick spline into the arm bar together. To install the motor, you will need to remove both D brackets and one roller cap from the ends of the roller. Before inserting the motor into the roller, ensure the motor pegs align with the slots on the inside of the roller. Slide the motor completely inside the awning roller. Thread the bolts through the H brackets. secure to the end of the motor using the pin. Insert the bolts through the D brackets and mount the D brackets to the awning frame and secure all bolts with washers and nuts. Remove the screw from the shaft of the hand crank tool and insert it into the hole in the motor with the loop facing towards the ground. Then place the screw back into the shaft and tighten it with a Phillips head screwdriver. Ensure the motor is completely inside the roller and reinstall the end brackets on both ends of the roller. Insert the arm bar links and the blockers into the front arm bar groove near the awning arm connectors. If you're having trouble moving the arm bar links and blockers into place because of connecting screws of the front bar, you can remove the screws, move the arm bar link and blocker into place, and reinsert the screws.
Insert the armbar links into the awning arm connector and snugly secure with provided hardware. Do not over tighten the nuts on the awning arm. Secure the armbar links to the front of the front bar. Attach the center support to the middle of the awning frame so the rollers are hugging the awning fabric and the center support frame is resting on the awning frame and secure with provided hardware. Attach the wall mounts to the structure. Place the entire awning on the wall mounts and secure with provided hardware. Carefully cut the awning arms free. They will be under tension and will pop out quickly. Fully open the awning and slide the blockers so they are positioned the length of each arms when folded. Cut any excess spline from the awning. Insert all end caps. Turn the remote over and remove the back. Inside the remote, you will see a position for a battery and a small orange P2 button. Insert the battery into the remote with the positive side down. Unplug the awning and wait 10 seconds. Then plug the awning back in again if you have a motor on the right side. Push the P2 button twice and immediately turn the remote over and push the top button twice. Then push the bottom button once to engage the awning. If you have the motor on the left side, push the P2 button twice, immediately flip the remote over and push the bottom button twice and a third time to engage the awning. Replace the battery cover once you're finished. If your motor is on the right side, the red limit switch will adjust the open position and the white limit switch will adjust the closed position of the awning. If your motor is on the left side, the white limit switch will adjust the open position and the red limit switch will adjust the closed position of the awning. With the awning still open, adjust the open limit switch to the desired length. Then close the entire awning and adjust the closed limit switch. And enjoy.